but instead using it as something necessary to guide us in this life to the hereafter, insha'Allah, Jannatul Firdaus. So from amongst the ahadith that the Prophet ﷺ mentions in regards to staying away from the dunya is a hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ tries to paint the picture of when a person passes away. And the reality of what happens when a person passes away, what happens to his wealth, what happens to what he thought was dunya, in actuality nothing really benefits him except that of his own good actions. So the hadith reported by Anas radiallahu anhu, the Prophet ﷺ paints a very vivid picture. He says, يَتْبَعُ الْمَيِّتَ ثَلَاثَةٌ There are three things that follows a dead body to the graveyard. There are three things that follow the dead body to the graveyard. Once a person passes away, there are three things that follow the dead body to the graveyard. Ahluhu, wa maluhu, wa amaluhu. His family, his wealth, and his actions. So his family follows him and his sons and his daughters and his, uh, his friends, his family following him to the graveyard. His actions follow him to the graveyard and his wealth as well. His wealth in uh, the ways of you know, his friends or maybe the people that he associated with, uh, you know, the, the, social, the, the status in social society that actually uh, that he had, all of this follows him to the graveyard until he is in the grave. The same people that loved him for his wealth in the dunya, they will follow him to the graveyard. But once everyone gets to the graveyard, two of them return and only one of them remains with him. And so the Prophet ﷺ said, Ahluhu wa maluhu wa amalu. His family, his wealth, his actions all follow him to the graveyard. فَيَرْجِعُ إِثْنَانْ وَيَبْقَى وَاحِدٌ Two of them return and one of them stays with him. يَرْجِعُ أَهْلُهُ wa maluhu. His family and his wealth, they come back home. So the wealth that he left, it's still back at home. The house that he built, the estate that he left, the bank balance, the cars, all of that comes back home. His family comes back home. And he's left alone. And what is he left alone with? وَيَبْقَى amalu, His good deeds and his bad deeds. So in actuality, all of this, the Prophet ﷺ paints a picture to tell us, to tell, to, to tell us and to explain to us the reality of the hereafter and what is most important to us, what will stay with us till the Day of Judgment is our good actions and our bad actions. And that's what we should give priority to, towards, our good actions and our bad actions. Obviously increasing in our good actions and limiting our bad actions and staying away from all sins. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq to act upon what has been said. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sins, to guide us, to forgive us, to keep us and our families away from all harm. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi, nashadu wa la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi.